Hey guys, it's Shadow Maker Guy once again. I just got back from seeing the Angry Birds movie too. The fourth movie I saw in theaters this year with my sister. Anyways, let's start the review, shall we? So what the plot is, it took place after the first movie went off. Red is now the hero, even though he had anger issues in the first one. But they're still having problems with the pigs since they started to mess with them. But then a, then a giant icicle thing crash lands on the pig island. And when it discovered that it came from the third island, which is right over there, he discovers that this purple eagle Which you can see that Leonard is looking at right there. This will, this is a non-spoiler review. And then... When Red, Red is at, and Red is at home. Eating popcorn and shrinking melted butter and then when it comes to his house and that doesn't trust him and ties him up but tells him that they have to work together Uh, and stop the ice rolls from rolls from destroying both the islands. That's 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 basically what the part of this movie is. What do I think of this movie? I really enjoyed it. Excuse me. Let's get to my positives. The pause that I write that the that the hat swings were gra were grabbing the unborn siblings to pray as the bird. The player, I mean, players red and the pigs. That was very funny. Thanks, <laughs> but unfortunately, they lost in my mistake. <laughs> and there's a scene where they lost him to that to that snake. Ache, but ache, then. Beat him up off screen. The one was like, Well, that was dark. And I was like, You got that white. I'm still not giving away spoilers. But. <laughs> I f I freaking love that scene where Bomb busts, busts out of jail. You know, and his mom is like, You're so grounded, Bomb. 
And Bob is like, I'm an adult, Mom. <laughs> scene was so funny. And he, and he end the movie. I like, I like how Red makes out with Chuck's sister, Silver, right here. I like how the whole gang relies on Eagle Island, except for the Mighty Eagle, since he's too nervous. Since he had backstory of when he was in high school when he met that that female purple. Eagle, which I forgot a name. 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 He had all great, had great times with her, but at the wedding, he abandoned her, which I feel bad for her. But then, some, then later in the movie, Red and Silver got captured by one of the Eagle Guards. Then they're, they're tied up. Then she plans to turn both Bird and Piggy Island into her paradises. Then Red is like, You're a monster! That was, it was really funny. <laughs> I like to see how the hatchlings and free of the 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 pig kids it stopped the missiles in time. I love how the Mighty Eagle got reunited with the Purple Eagle who was his fiance. Excuse me. Still not giving away spoilers, you guys. And at the end of the movie, I like how the, how the My Eagle got remarried to his fiance. And Red is once again the hero. As for negatives, well, there are two things, two scenes that I don't like. Uh, when it's showing some selfie pictures of himself, ugh, I don't do selfies. I and I rather not talk about it either. And the scene where Bomb was singing the Baby Shark song of the gods. Oh my God, I hate Baby Shark so much, much. Anyways, 
I give this movie an eight out of ten. It's not a good, it's not as good as the it was the first movie. I quite agree with Rambo Walks Strikes Back on this movie. That was my review on the Angry Boots movie. I'm in the Angry Boots movie too. And my next review is... Oh my god! Little Einstein's a really huge adventure. I hate that movie and the TV show itself. I'm still gonna tear it apart, but I'll have to watch it first before ranting on it. You'll need, you'll need, you'll need like tons of four glasses of water to get through that. Excuse me, piece of crap. Anyways, thanks for enjoying my review. And I'll see you next time.